Welcome to Toffee TV. Here is my three talking points. Southampton won Everton nil. Another defeat for the Toffees. Uh, they lost fifty percent of the games now this season, haven't they? Um, two wins this season, which is atrocious. You know, Southampton have won their first game today, and they've won fifty percent. Uh, only fifty percent less than us. Or as fifty percent as much of us, if you want. If you want to say it like that, uh, atrocious display. Um, clueless. Didn't have any control at all in the game and uh, conceded a, a soft goal. Yeah, terrible, absolutely terrible against the team who's bottom of the league. And coming into it, I just thought we'd have too much today for them. Even though I know I do like the way they play, they knock it around well. You know, they haven't hev heavily invested in the squad. Russell Martin's done a good job co coaching them and getting away of playing, but I don't think they're not particularly strong in the final third for all of the nice approach play. I think that's only the seventh goal he's scored this season. Uh, they hadn't had a clean sheet before today, so well done Everton on that one. And I guess that's my first talking point really, is what is the plan? I've probably said this on half of the videos at least. Um, but this isn't a, in my opinion, this isn't a way to get the best out of these players. It's not a way to win games of football. To go into games and, and almost be petrified of everyone you play, which is how this manager has set Everton up and how he's made everyone believe that everyone's infinitely better than us and we have to go and give them the ball and just hope we can get a free kick or a corner. And I don't buy it. I just don't buy it at all. I'm sorry. I don't buy it. I'm looking at Nottingham Forest. They were one of the, the teams that were going to be in the relegation battle this season, according to experts, although according to a lot of their fans they were as well, they were open to just try and, you know, be a bit better, a bit more solid this season the third tonight, because they've got a way of playing, they go forward, they try to win games of football, they're positive and they're the team who was down at Everton of course last season, finished below Everton and yet we have decided to talk ourselves into that we are in that, that battle to stay up, which is nonsense and we play like, every team is infinitely better than us. Of course, there's better teams than Everton. Of course, there is. There's not 16 teams that are better than Everton or 70. There's just not. It doesn't matter how low you feel. There isn't. That squad is way better than what it's performing at. So, you have to quite, you ask the question, is the manager getting the most out of them? No. Not in my opinion. Absolutely not. And giving the ball up to everyone you play causes you issues. If you continually just go, they're going to have all the balls, so we, we only want 25 to 30 percent, and we'll see what we do with it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't do it. There's no element of control in it. That might happen three or four times a season, and you accept it. Therefore, your game plan is different. It can't be your go to game plan, and that is the, at the moment, they're the tactics that the coaching staff are putting out every week. Petrified of everyone, scared of their own shadow. Keep it tight, just whack it anywhere, keep it tight. We might get a free kick or a corner and we might nick a goal. No wonder Calvert-Lewin looks pissed off. No wonder and Jai's shaking his head when he comes off. And other people, rumours around now, people want out, Brantway, people. No wonder Onan had had a go in the summer when he left. You can't, the professional footballers, they want to play football. And yet we just concede to the opposition all the time. I just don't get it. I honestly don't get it. I don't get it. I'd rather... I, I, would, I wouldn't I would be critical of Sean Dykes if he went for it in most games. And, I, and when we played the, the you know the big six or whatever, he was more more defensive. No problem with that at all. I go, fair play. He's having a look, seeing what we've got. We'll, we'll give the ball up. We'll see whether we can keep it tight. You don't mind it in isolation. But when it's your MO every single week, I just, honestly, and again, if he'd have been here for, he's been here nearly two years, if in that time we haven't brought a single player in, everyone, you know, we didn't have any players, he was coping with academy players and all that, you'd take your hat off and go, what can he really do? There's 11 or 12 players he's brought in, in this squad, and he had McNeil, and he had Tarkovsky, Michael Keane, and other clubs, and yet we're still doing the same kind of mentality as when he walked through the door and we were bottom of the league or 19th, whatever we were. There's got to be a mindset change from all of them. You know, there really has. Otherwise, this is it for the season. 
you're going to get beat. Terrible performances. You might nick a draw here and there. You'll win some games because the players are just better than the opposition. And you'll end up scraping 17. Then people will be drinking and patting themselves on the back and saying what a great job he's done. And it doesn't have to be like that. Be more proactive. Go after teams. Why take... Why take Dom off him just to play him with Beto today and then stick Jack Harrison up front with him? Why not leave Calvert Lumen on and put Beto on with him? You know, think outside the box a little bit and go after Southampton and put them under pressure. We don't play any footy anyway. So just knock it long and get runners. I just think it, unless we do something to go after teams, we've got West Ham away next week, which will be a tough game. You can easily see Everton getting beaten there as well. Then they go into an international break. Brentford at home scored tons of goals. Are we just going to give them all the ball and hope to keep them out? Then United away. Then we're in December and we've got Liverpool and Man City and our, and them kind of clubs. Then we will be in the bottom three and we will be in a relegation battle because all of these teams we've just played where we should have been getting more points from. Even Newcastle at home. Newcastle turned up with no strikers. And yet we we conceded all the ball and went, oh, you know, nil-nil. And he's patting everyone on the back. Fulham. Southampton today. But, hey ho. I just think we should go after teams. And if we go after... Not everyone. I, I'm, you know, I'm not saying City. Oh, let's go after them. I accept you have, to, you have to alter the way you play. But we are terrified of everybody. Everybody. So, it's... That's why I'm not angry. I'm just sort of like... This is this is just us at the moment until there's a broom that comes and it the freakins might do it, they might come in and clear the decks, but we might have to wait till May for that for them to fully clear it. So it just get through till May. Yeah. I mean I I thought I Jared Brantwaite, number two. Jared Brantwaite. Okay, Michael Keane scored a goal at Ipswich and we had Fulham at home last week and Brantwaite was fit and the manager left them. Left them out the side. But today against a team who was good on the ball. You have to be good on the ball. And yet he's left on the bench again. You know, and there's rumours are around now, aren't he? He's not happy or whatever. We'll see whether there's anything in them. Once they get out, that's a slippery slope as well. But even just take, forget even that. Just an actual football point of view. He is better than Michael Keane. So put him in the side. He gives us more control. He's good on the ball. Get him back in. We're rubbish. If we were in the top three winning all sorts of games, you could make a case for it. you go, well, we're flying. We're winning every week. You'll have to wait your turn, mate. We're not. What are we? Fifth, fourth from bottom, fifth from bottom. We're rubbish. We don't win. We've won two games of football all season. I just don't get it. Honestly, he's too good a player to leave sat on the bench when we aren't winning every week. No problem, like I've just said. You have to win every weekend. There's lads who've got to sit out, even if they're good enough. They have to wait the turn because you're winning. And you could argue, oh, well, we don't change a winning team. But we're not winning. We're not winning. We've beaten the last few games a team that has been promoted that hasn't won a game of football yet. We've beat them. Great. That's it. And yet, we're leaving our players who who other clubs and bigger clubs with loftier ambitions than us are looking at and want. It's mad. It's mad. <clears throat> and then the in-game management thing. I've just talked about it, but taking and Jay off as well. I just don't get. I don't get um, a lot of what we're doing. Someone just sent me a, you know, a thing and a, a a message with, is he just deliberately now trying to piss every Evertonian? Well, not everyone, because some people love him, but clearly, is he trying to piss a lot of Evertonians off? I don't know. I doubt it, but it, it is working. Um, so, yeah. Hugely, hugely frustrating afternoon. Uh, third, The third thing is about players and players' responsibility and players getting back fit, because... That's what we need. We need, and it's not going to happen quickly, is it? Garner, James Garner. Don't know when he's going to be available. Um, Iribunum seems like he's weeks and weeks and weeks away. 
So we might not see him this side of Christmas, or if we do around Christmas, and that's no good either, because these are options, certainly in the midfield, certainly where there's legs. We need Breuer. We've not seen him in an Everton shirt at the moment, so we need him back. Chimiti, we need him fit. We, these are players that we need. Even today, we've got Patterson and Coleman on the bench. And with sort of 20 minutes left, See, Lindstrom, I understand, he's given Lindstrom the full game. Okay. He's obviously trained well. He'd done some decent things today and other times. He was weak or wrong decisions. But why not try something different? It was nil-nil, 20 minutes left. Why not put Nathan Patterson on, on the, on the right-hand side of midfield, pushing on or something? Or Because Ashley Young, had, he had a decent game, not, not advocating him coming off. But... Use your squad or use Harrison Armstrong or whatever, but do something a bit different. But I didn't get him putting sort of Jack Harrison on and then moving McNeil to the left and putting Harrison up front. I didn't get that. You may as well just left Calvert Lumen up there. It's so strange some of what we're doing. But we need these players fit back and we need the lads who are fit to, to start taking control. If you don't like what the manager's saying, you're on the pitch, you play the game. Ignore what he's got to say and play the game, but do it. Be brave. And Michalenko had one in the box at nil nil at the far post. He's trying to pass it. There's no one near him. Shoot. Take responsibility. You know, we're all passing the book. That's all it is. You know, and today, the f what were the five unbeaten today? Shouldn't be losing to Southampton. I'm sorry. Not when they're not exactly high on confidence, the bottom of the league with one point. And we go there and we look like we're scared of them. And yet when players have those moments in the penalty area, it's half assed You know, why Why is it half assed Is the coach not good enough? Is it you as a player not good enough? Is it is it confidence low? Why is confidence low when you're not losing games? But they've got to take responsibility as well. But we also do need these other players fit as well. Because it's just the whole thing isn't good enough. Right now it just isn't and it's we need a big shot in the arm and I don't know I honestly don't know where it comes from right now. Will it be the takeover going through? I don't know. Um will it be God who knows? Who knows? We go to West Ham next week and it's it's a tough, tough game. They have got they alright, they've been battered the forest today, but forest go at people. So we will sit back and then West Ham, Bowen, Crescencio, Somerville players like that are going to be running us. Paquette, Antonio will be bullying us. Can we win there? Of course we can, but it'll be a massively difficult game. And, you know, if we were to lose again next week, then 11 games in and you've won two of them and it's an international break, middle of November. That's absolutely atrocious. What a shocking return of points and a shocking return of performances. To be less than a point a game at this stage is awful. It's awful. I don't know. I don't know how we get out of it at the moment. Without being brave, without ripping up what we're doing. That isn't working. Don't let any, anybody tell you it's working because it isn't. Start going after teams. Change the formation. If you if you can't drop Michael Keane because you love him or you don't want to piss off Brantway by leaving him on a bench or whatever, then play three at the back. Go three at the back. You know, Tarkovsky's not up to scratch. Take him out the side. You can drop him. He's not, you know, as far as I'm aware, he's not got a contract that says I play every minute of every game. If you have to change it, change it. And be more positive. And go after teams and get some results. Because right now, just throwing points away left, right and centre and hiding behind, oh, things are difficult. Not good enough. And... Um, it's so, so frustrating. It's hard to watch. It's rubbish to watch. I feel so sorry for those fans that have gone down there today and had to you know, witness that. But none of them really should be surprised because that's what you see in most weeks. With You know, last season was awful. We went four months without winning a game of football. You know, we won games in clunks last year, which which kept us out of trouble. But you shouldn't go four, game, four months without winning a game. So we have to be brave, try something different, be braver. All, everyone at the football club, be braver. But 
there you go anyway waffle for long enough go and have a nice night if you can have a great weekend if you can um it's only footy isn't it at the end of the day lot of things far more important in the world there you go thanks for watching see you later